I'm actually getting on a plane tomorrow to go to Australia. I think she might have mentioned that. But in all the preparation, my brain has been spinning in circles. So I, I, whether or not she said it, I am going to Australia tomorrow. So I, I thought it was kind of fun to play in Australia stuff in the guys. And this, this is an indigo snake. These guys are native to Florida, Georgia area here in North America. So I was getting ready to head out to Australia. Well, I'm still I'm still heading out to Australia. That's still happening. No, no, you can't go. I can't go now. No, you gotta find your snake first. Oh. Your sunglasses are on. Did you know that? You yeah, I, I knew my sunglasses oh. were on. Thanks, mom. You're welcome. Why, well, you know, moms are always watching out for things, <laughs> whether you like it or not. Even with my mom's expertise at finding snakes <laughs> over the years and years that she's been finding snakes that I've lost. She wasn't able to find it. What's up, Mom? Slacking? A little rusty. I haven't been around well, snakes enough. First, we've guess. got to put either a washing machine in there, yeah, which true. is the usual trap, or a windowsill, or a rocking chair. Those are the usual places that I. Or find. A, a pet snake. I mean, a um, a stuffed animal snake, a play snake. Oh. That's where I found one one time. Oh, let's see, there you go. Hanging with his play friend. Hillary, how do you feel about it? I'm looking at rental cars. <laughs> 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 Wait, looks like Leia's ready to catch it. Leia, Leia, are you gonna catch the snakey? Go Can ahead. you find the last snakey? Come here, T. Come here, T. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna catch the last snakey? No, but I'm gonna catch that real. Are you ready to catch the snakey? Yeah. Yeah? You super ready? Yeah. You've never been more ready in your life? Yeah. All right then. Hey, T. What do you know? She knows how to stare deep into the depths of your soul. Deep. Down to her happy place. <laughs> I thought it would be a real good idea to go do a last minute uh, educational show at a school out in Bakersfield, which, uh, here, watch. Excellent footage. I'm so happy when I can find somebody at the school that knows how to really work a camera and can get some good footage for us. I think that was, in fact, that was so good. Well, here, let's take a look, another look at that footage. Yeah, so anyway, I thought it'd be a good idea to do that because actually those kids were studying Australia today. They're studying all the different parts of the world and they're studying Australia now, currently. So I brought species from all corners of the world and finished off in Australia with carpet python, children's python, and uh, everything seemed good. Everything was good. Everything was great. It was a fantastic show. I packed up. Everything was accounted for just like it is at every show. This time, uh, something was a little different, I guess, that being that not all the snakes made it all the way back to the snake room. I got back, unpacked, opened up the first bin that I usually open up, which is also the first snake that I present at every single one of these events. And the first one I always pack back up because it's the first one to come out of the top and there was no snake in the bin. And it was the indigo snake, which you don't want to lose any snake whatsoever, but the indigo snake was not, that's like, I came back, I was all ready to like pack and get going. And now I just want to sit here and cry myself to sleep. That's, we're here for you, honey. We'll, we'll help you cry. We'll sleep for you. <laughs> and everybody is being super sympathetic about the fact that I just lost my favorite snake. Well, technically, it's probably sitting right in this car. Nick, can we talk about that? <laughs> yeah. Can we talk about how it's in my car? What do you want to talk about? That I'm going on a two and a half hour drive tomorrow with Leia. You won't be alone. Well, hopefully you find the snake for me. You gonna catch the snake, E.T.? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, the hawks, boys, the hawks are back. The hawks are back. And they're gone. One is. One's in this tree right here. Open the door, it'll go for the snake. Okay. Hear him? There's one in this big tree right here. Where? This one, and the other one flew over that way. Oh, look, he's coming back. Oh, yep, there. Oh, oh, they're mating! <laughs> Look at them, they're mating! Hey Noah. What? 
What do you know? I know. Hawks. What about hawks? <laughs> that there are a bunch of different kinds of hawks, and there are some yeah. red-shouldered hawks Mommy. up here somewhere mating. Oh, but the sun is so bright. Oh, there goes there. <laughs> what? That was Summer time? <laughs> what about your lizard? <laughs> hey Eli. What? What do you know? Nothing. Oh. So, I have searched every nook and cranny in this vehicle that I could possibly search. Stuck things in door part panels and and it's somewhere in here. I'm thinking that it crawled into that little vent right there into part of the air conditioning system. So hopefully all this turns out all right. What I do have going on right now is I put a little tank back here and there's a little hide box under the tank or in the tank and I put a little frozen thawed rodent in there. This needs to be open a little bit more. Have that open and uh, hopefully. Hopefully the snake will, sometime this evening, smell that rat in there, go crawl in, eat it, and just hang out in that hide and wait for me to come in the morning and get him. Can you, can you help me out? I got my sunglasses stuck in my head. He's all out of sort. Wow, oh, how'd that you do tough. that? So <laughs> Thank you. She's a witch! <laughs> yeah, anyway, so... so. I'm hoping and hoping and hoping against hope that is hoping against hope. Does that make sense? Um, well, it's kind of like betting against yourself, I think. Against hope. Okay. Well, I'm hoping with hope. With hope. Lots of hope that this snake is going to turn up before I leave. If it doesn't, it is okay for me to drive with Leia tomorrow. Oh yeah, the snake's not going to eat anybody. It's just a little indigo snake. When was the last time it ate? It could be hungry. Well, I'll have the mirror up, so if it happens to come out and go on her, I could at least see. see oh it. yeah, if the snake goes on her, that's not a problem. The snake's not going to hurt Leia. Leia probably be excited. But, and, and, Leia, Leia gets a hold and Leia knows how to hang out with snakes just fine. No, I know. Little Hercula, when she gets its It's just going to be a little uneasy. Little snake. Snake Knowing it's in there. I'll be set a lot easy, more at ease if I know that it's in there for sure. It's got to be in there. I can't imagine where else it would have crawled to in the time that I went from here to there. Anyway, so yeah, I was really hoping that this was going to be a nice goodbye video for the kids. Do I need hawk watching? Yeah. Yeah, we need all the hawk watching we can get, bud. Got it. Thanks. You watch those hawks for me. Make sure they don't come and eat my snake. The snake is in the car. Yeah, and the, I don't want the hawks going in the car eating my snake. So you keep watch out, okay? They can't get in the car. They don't even know how to open the doors. Okay, well, you just keep watch out anyway and just make sure, all right? <sighs> yeah, so I was, I was really hoping for this just to be kind of like a goodbye video with the kids because I'm not going to see them for a few weeks now and that's a, it's a long time for me. And uh, instead, it seems to be a goodbye video for my snake. And hopefully, these guys are reunited with my snake before... I'm reunited with them because that would make me sit easy. Again, I just, I really just, I was planning to come home, go balls to the wall and pack and get everything ready and make it happen quickly and, and then I get back and it's just like searching for the snake, searching for the snake, searching for the snake, hoping, hoping, hoping it's under this, hoping it's under that, hoping it's under that. And it's so ridiculous. I've, I've done a bunch of these shows now. I haven't lost a single animal and uh, I pack everything up the same way like clockwork and for whatever reason, even the last, the last time too, um, Roxanne popped her little head out of the tub on her way there in the road. If you follow on Instagram, you saw that. And uh, for whatever reason, this time, these last two shows, I've got an animal popping out twice. Now the second time here, Indigo Snake, Sunset, our male, and he's gone. In the car. Hopefully to soon return, but... <sighs> <sighs> well, if you guys can hope for us, and then I hope, 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 hope with me that this snake turns up and Hillary finds him and it becomes uneventful because this is not the way I wanted to start this trip is losing that snake or any snake. <sighs> yeah, exactly. In all seriousness, I'm just trying to make light of the fact that I've just lost that indigo snake into the car over there. I, uh, 
I got a lot to wrap my mind around with leaving the house in the next couple of hours here and being gone for a long time. I, I just didn't think that I was gonna have to plan that in. And I know it's I could have been not such a dummy and like maybe just did one extra check and make sure the latch was all the way down on the lid, but it's like, again, so much on the mind. I just, uh, if you guys could just like leave a comment down below and maybe help hope that Hillary finds this thing while I'm gone because the chance of me find it tonight before I leave. Pretty slim, but hopefully, hopefully. Or if you're one of those people that will feel better about yourself, you just say what an idiot I am for having lost it in the first place. Go ahead, I can take it. That's one thing I learned about myself. I can take it. Leave that comment down below. But next thing's next and next thing is Australia. So we're leaving. So I'll see you guys in Australia. Yeah.